This is Text Speaker. I have used this program for several years, and I'm quite pleased with it. The stock voices that come with Windows are less than ideal. I don't recommend using them. So basically, uh, this is a little short peek at this program. Okay, some of the features you can do here is right here. I'm going to change the voice to one of the voices I purchased, Brian. Okay, then I'm going to continue to play it. So along with purchasing this program, you should purchase a professional voice. There are some guidelines that you will have to follow to make the spoken words sound natural. You create pauses, because otherwise, the sentences just run together. In general, adding commas is all that is required. Okay, and another thing that complements this program would be Dragon Naturally Speaking, which obviously you don't need to do such a thing. But if you're really serious about text to speech, comma, then obviously this is a very good route to take. Period. You can purchase voices through the program. Okay, voices are 30 bucks. Okay, they got English ones, UK English. I like the British ones just because I'm from America. I am Kendra, a professional English speaking voice with an American accent. I can be used with text speaker. Purchase me from DeskShare.com. And these are all by far much more professional voices than uh, than anything I've ever seen come from Windows. But if you're really serious about text to speech, then obviously this is a very good route to take. Well, like I said, you have to insert some pauses and stuff like that. You know, sometimes you want to insert a voice change, you want to insert a pause for X amount of time, and, you know, this is a pretty handy program. You can convert all of this to an audio file, okay, you can convert it to WAVE, you can convert it to different things, and it's, all in all, it's a pretty nice little program. Uh, I think the program was, uh, yeah, the program's 30 bucks, so it's not a terribly expensive program either. There's a free trial of the program. It's fully functional, up to 200 words. Once it hits 200 words read back, it quits reading the words. You can save files, and you can also do talking reminders and the whole bit. But what they did do was they put in additional hoops for you to jump through to use it in trial mode in the way of additional clicks to make the program function. So it's it's not a complete walk in the park, but trial mode works just fine. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.